G'day from Australia. My name's Shane Neal, and we're all watching What's the Deal with Spiel? What's the deal with Spiel? I'm going to give this away. Okay, so here's what's been going on this week in cigar box guitar history research. Sitting here playing this double neck, this wild double neck. I've shown these before. Uh, let me put the edge slide down. This is a massive factory throwout cigar box with two Stella necks attached. The back is full of obituaries and other things it came from new orleans now i have two of these guitars both of them made by the same builder and player i need your help tracking him down or tracking down his history this was from a busker in new orleans before katrina i know that his real name was willie white but he had several other nicknames as well Based on the parts used of these two guitars, I estimate they were built somewhere in the 1980s or 1990s. Maybe that's when he was busking. I am searching for this busker who played double neck instruments in New Orleans. His name was Willie White. If anybody has information, post it below or send it to me at shanespiel at yahoo.com. I would love to find out more of this builder. I also just got this antique photograph in from New York State of four children playing cigar box guitars. I have no history behind it. However, what I need to do is put this on a professional flatbed photo scanner and scan it, Photoshop it, clean it up so we can really get an idea of what's in this photo. Unfortunately, my photo scanner is dead. If somebody out there has a good working photo scanner and you want to trade it for a guitar, um, especially a standard electric guitar or something like that, let me know. Let me know. Send me an email, shanespill at yahoo.com. But if somebody is in that industry, they have a good one that they're not using because they've upgraded or whatever, um, and if it's compatible with a Mac, I would very much be interested in trading. I'm going to give this away. This is a three string fretted cigar box guitar by Michael Fantacone of Fantacone Box Works. I first saw his stuff over at Cigar Box Nation. He's been making cigar box guitars for a couple years now. Uh, someone at his job introduced him to these and he is now on guitar number 70. Well, this one is guitar number 67 and he sent it to me and he said, Shane, will you give this away on your channel? And I'm like, yes, yes, let's do this. First of all, let's show this thing off. It's got a poplar neck, mahogany scarf, an oak heel. It's got a Paduk fretboard. There's a zero fret. Inside is a single piezo pickup. Boom, boom, boom. And check out the wild yellow heart floating bridge and string guy. And he gets a lot of his parts from CB Giddy C. Check out those tuners right there and the strings. One time there was something wrong with his order, but it was just the type of thing whenever you're ordering online. Well, the guys at CB Giddy wanted to make him happy, and they sent him a bunch of free parts. So he ended up building this guitar with some of those parts, and he sent it to me. He loves CB Giddy. He loves their customer service. And I tell you what, he makes a killer guitar. This has a Winston Churchill box from Davidoff Cigars, and uh, man, it just looks sweet. It sounds great too, acoustically. Let's give this away. You wanna know how to win this? Well, in this video, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment below. Once you do that, you've entered. Now last week, I asked you to do the same thing on that episode of What's the Deal with Spiel, and I said I was gonna give away my pipe organ guitar amp. Well, let's do that giveaway. 
I went through the comments and used a random number generator and I've picked a new winner. The winner is <laughs> Jeff Calthan. Jeff Calthan, you won this. I will be contacting you. I will get your address and I will be sending this out to you. Congratulations. You know, as I see cigar box guitars like this, I'm amazed. Um, the fine fret work that's on here, I mean, his fret ends are like butter. The amount of care and filing that he did to these, it's just beautiful. It's amazing. Um, the whole guitar plays fantastic. This is an instrument that does have history because here is a fretted cigar box guitar that is probably a hundred years old or more. And in this one, I've shown this off before, the frets are wire that is wrapped around and stuck into the sides of the neck. And they put six strings on this. So what Mike Fanticone did with this is basically keeping with history because they were doing this back in the day. The things that you guys are making anymore are just fantastic. We are in a true renaissance period for the cigar box guitar. Never before in history has this instrument been developed to such a high degree and I'm blown away. So keep it up, keep doing it. And if you need help, go check out cigarboxnation.com. It's a great place to talk to other builders and get ideas. I'm going to give you one more update on these drums. I want to move past the drums, at least for this segment, but I was messing around and hold it. You got to see this. Everybody dance now. <laughs> Let me show you something about making piezo drum triggers. So here's the repaired trigger that I worked on this week. Now this piece of wood was taken from an old record stand that I had. The wood was a little too thick. The other plywood tops are a lot thinner. So the thickness of this kept it from triggering. Also, my original piezos, which I have here, I had too much glue and I had stapled some popsicle sticks on top of them so they wouldn't move. Well, what that did was it just confined the piezo too much and so it didn't pick up the tapping of my hand. You need these piezos to be sensitive so that they pick up that little snap. But these, again, are nothing but the same piezo discs that we use as cigar box guitar pickups. CB Giddy sells these cheap. I bought a whole bunch of them, and I also bought a whole bunch of jacks from him, and that's how I created these drum triggers that are part of the Junkyard drum set. I enjoy big books like this that have a lot of pictures that give me ideas for new and strange instruments. Many of you have seen this. This book is awesome. Billy F. Gibbons, Rock and Roll Gearhead. And this book is nothing but all his guitars and cars from ZZ Top. If you're a car freak like me, you'll just totally dig into it. But there's also all the guitars he's used over the years, including some of his early stuff that was very Bo Diddley inspired. I like to buy books from musical instrument museums like the Musical Instrument Museum out in Arizona. I bought this online on their website and this gives a great overview of all their exhibits. I bought this just to see if my cigar box guitar made it in here because their one cigar box guitar in the museum was one that I built, I'm proud to say. But the book is filled with many strange world instruments, little tidbits of history, and backstories on some of their exhibits. This is a fun book. Uh, and then this. Every single one of you should own this book. This is one of the most essential coffee table books. It is the most essential one in my entire library. True Faith, True Light. This is the devotional art of Ed Stilley. This is photographs, stories of all of Ed Stilley's instruments. The story with Ed Stilley was that he felt commissioned by God to create musical instruments for children, but he had no experience in building any, and he just went and did it his own way. The crazy thing was he started coming up with new inventions, new things to add to the guitars. Each guitar 
had saw blades and springs and other things inside that he said would capture the spirit of the instrument. They even x-rayed these guitars to show you all the things he stuffed inside. Every single instrument in this book is crude and strange, but to me, they are absolutely in a world of their own. I love this book. I love Ed Stilley. I love Kelly Mulholland for writing the book, getting to know Ed, and putting this all together. True Faith, True Light, The Devotional Art of Ed Stilley. Google it, look it up, buy it highly recommended. If you've looked on my bookshelf beside my copy of Making Poor Man's Guitars, there is this book. This is David Sutton's book, Obsessed with Cigar Box Guitars. This is the second edition, and this whole book is filled with cigar box guitars made by people all over the world. It's their stories, their ideas. It's filled with great interviews and a lot of ideas. It also includes a new section of building a cigar box ukulele and restoring flea market ukuleles. And you can actually get copies of this at Stubby Slide. Every copy is autographed by David Sutton. StubbySlide.com. So that's what's on my bookshelf. If you've seen a book that you think I would love, post it in the comments below of this video. I'd love to discover something new. So that's what's the deal with Spiel. I can't wait to give this sucker away. Make sure you like share and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit that little bell and you'll be notified whenever I have new videos coming out. Hey, the new Bonecaster shirt is over at guitarrags.com. That's how you support my channel. Thanks a lot. Thank you to cbgiddy.com for sponsoring this and I will see you soon. This is Shane Spiel saying stay primal.